that guys so today we will be adding one two three four five five penguins to our collection and these penguins are actually sent to us by a gen safarian by the name of jeremiah so yep we will be having a look at all of our sea animals together and hopefully we are able to add them into the box i don't think we have enough space but let's figure out you know a way to get them into the box okay so let's do this all right guys so let's begin by taking a look at this new figure sent to us so have a look at this it is a rock hopper penguin but i've no idea which manufacturer actually made this it says k and m i've never heard of this brand so this is something new to me so rock hopper penguins they are very very easily recognizable because of the feathers right here so you can see they actually look kind of cool it looks like they have very very cool hairstyle this one let's have a look i'm not exactly sure what this is gen 2 gen 2 penguin very nice i think this is like our one and only gen 2 penguin i'm not too sure this one looks like a south african penguin black footed penguin okay got it but the patterns on his body definitely looks like you know a south african penguin so i'm gonna put all the penguins in this little corner we will try to optimize the space you know later on okay so next I think we should have another new penguin sent to us it's um right beneath but it's okay let's have a look at this one this is probably a um, emperor penguin i think okay and here we have a chin strap penguin which is easily recognizable because of this little stripe across the chin this one it has to be an african penguin let's have a look okay this one doesn't have a name this is a penguin cheek very cute little one and here is another sliding emperor penguin this one it's um i'm not too sure yep another penguin okay next up okay i have totally forgotten the name of this crab so if you guys know please let me know down below i think it should be a dungeness crab not too sure okay we do have a lot of hermit crabs because i have actually you know purchase many of them all right so let's have a go at this so you can basically find different hermit crabs with different types of shells because they are actually using the shelves left over by other animals okay so the shells actually don't belong to them okay so let's have a look at this one this is actually um a lobster okay and this one a crab another really beautiful one with like plenty of patterns on his body you can find like red black and the pencils are actually blue in color which is kind of cool okay next up we have a horse shoe crab this it's basically a living fossil they existed millions of years ago and they still exist today okay horseshoe crab beautiful one let's see whether we are able to find more Okay, this one is definitely the Dungeness Crab, if I'm not wrong. Very, very beautiful little figure from Peppo. Okay, Polar Bear Carp. I'm not too sure whether we should be placing this Polar Bear Carp in this box right here. But I think it's fine. Let's just place it right in. Next, we have a seahorse. Do you guys know that seahorses, they are actually very bad swimmers. And they basically use the tail to hang on themselves to little objects like corals and stuff. They are very bad swimmers. Here, we have another hermit crab. Is this a hermit crab? You know, I've actually made this video like a couple of weeks ago, but I've totally forgotten, you know, all the single, all the names. And right here, we have another seahorse. You can see it is tying its tail onto a coral because they are really, really bad swimmers. Octopus are basically very intelligent animals. They are able to disguise themselves. They are able to camouflage themselves. They are excellent camouflage artists. Next, we have a puffin. Okay, nice. Our one and only puffin figure in our entire collection. Here's another polar bear cop which I think was also sent to us by a Dan Safarian. Lobster, right here. Beautiful lobster from Collecte. And here we have another hermit crab. 
and um, this time you can see the shell is totally different from the previous one and this is actually a much smaller hermit crab okay what is this um yep another crab right here across the shin and here with a mori you okay let's find other amazing sea animals another penguin this one is quite a huge one Okay, it's an African penguin. We have a good luck mini. You know, I think one of you actually wanted us to do a good luck mini collections, but we don't really have enough good luck mini, so I don't think we are able to do a collection video. This is a jellyfish. Here's another jellyfish. It comes in all sorts of shapes and colors. This is a um, coconut crab. They're able to like climb up coconut trees. Here's a lobster. Here we have a blue crab. I think we have two blue crabs. Yep, so this one, it's actually named as a blue crab. If you take a look at the name, it's actually written right here, blue crab. Okay, let's try to place a blue crab into the box. Another hermit crab, huge one as you guys can see. And with another different shell again. So, yep. Weedy Sea Dragon. They look very similar to seahorses. Another polar bear cup. Emperor Penguin with a baby cheek right here. Emperor Penguins are basically the largest species of penguins around. Here's another rock hopper penguin. Beautiful. This one, it should be a humboldt penguin. That's right. Let's try to find the smaller figures first. Another rock hopper penguin. Really love the feathers around the head. It looks so cool. It looks like, you know, very nice hairstyle. I think this is a, is this a good luck mini? Nope. Mini emperor penguin. We have a shrimp right here, a prawn. Here's another one. This is a mini shrimp. Very beautiful figure. This is a king crab. We have two exact same figures. Where is the other one? Can't seem to find it. This, oops. This is another crab. We may have to put some of these figures, you know, to another um, box. I feel because. No, we're really running out of space. The penguin cheek, very, very cute little one. Emperor penguin cheek, I think. Yep, this is the new figure that was sent to us. Sea lion, I don't think a sea lion should be in this box. I think we have another box that we... So I'm just gonna put this aside first. Polar bear, huge one. Huge <laughs> polar bear cup figure. This is a chambered nautilus. Okay, it looks like an alien to me. Another king crab. So we have two similar ones. Exactly the same. Nudie branch, they come in all sorts of colors. Another hermit crab. Beautiful one, small little one. You can see this, this time the shell is in green in color and it's in kind of like a cone shape. Squid. Octopus. Another octopus. This is a beautiful figure from Peppo. Okay, let's see what else we've got. This one, um... Is this a king crab? I think so, because they're using the exact same spot. So I think this is a king crab. Polar bear. Okay. Polar bears, they are... The fur, the fur is actually translucent. Yep, just that, you know, when you view it from far, they look like white color. Jellyfish, like I've mentioned, they come in all shapes and sizes. Another octopus. Another... Okay, this one is the, basically the spider crab. Yes, and here we have another penguin. This is an emperor penguin. 
Emperor penguins are basically like what I've mentioned, the largest species of penguins around. Octopus. Oh dear, we definitely do not have enough space, guys. Definitely. Lobster. I might put this away. Um, this is the um, three, three eye crab. I think so. No, yeah, this is a brown crab. So I definitely need to put some of these figures away. I can't remember what is the name of this crab. If you guys know, please let me know down below, okay? And here's another coconut crab. A squid. South African penguin sliding on his belly. Sally Lightfoot crab, which is a very colorful crab. You can find like orange, red, purple, you know, and right here, you are going to find like light blue and yellow. So it's a really, really, really beautiful one. It's another squid. Bellamite. This is actually a um, prehistoric animal. Um, perhaps we should put a Bellamite and this one, which is the um, Pravito Saras. We can actually put them in the prehistoric marine reptiles shelf right there so that we can save some space and with this I'm just gonna put them into um, one of our boxes in our storeroom to save some space and this is a reef squid reef squid we can definitely try to um, put it in this one as well which is um the ammonite let's see is this the ammonite I think so you know of two mori use yeah, so I'm gonna put all of this into the box, which I think still manages to fit. And this three, I'm just gonna put them into uh, my marine reptiles collection. Okay, and um, yeah, that's all for today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this and um, I will see you guys in the next one. Okay, goodbye.